Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to Railroads Online. This is episode number five. Today we're going to do a coal run for you guys. So I hope you guys uh, buckle down and uh, sit tight because it's going to be a wild ride. So we're going to take the Olympic on this wonderful coal collecting journey. And we're simply just going to run it down to the freight depot. This time we're not going to take it to the ironworks. Um, as you may have seen in the previous video, we have plenty of coal in the ironworks facility. Um, so the main purpose for this is not only to make money, but also just to cycle through some of the product that is already sitting up here at the coal mine. So as many of you may have already seen, is that I brought the Olympic up on the last run during a live stream here. So I wanted to keep a locomotive stationed up here for such runs. So, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get started. So I've got the locomotive already pre-fired uh, pre up, ready to go. I just need to take her out. And the number is absolutely correct. So let's make sure we have a Lincoln pin in here for her. So I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. I know it was a bit on the short side there, but uh, didn't have a, a ton of time. But I did want to get uh, something out for you guys for a Tuesday video. This video here will likely be a Saturday video. So it's likely going to be Saturday. You will be seeing this on. So yeah, let's go ahead and take her out, uh, get her latched up to at least uh, 10 of those cars there. Whoa, 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 Olympic. You're getting going a little too fast there. Just coast you. So we're certainly planning to start and end up here. I think we're going to make this a good daytime run. definitely coasting cool thing is that this thing has signal lights signal light placements I'm not entirely sure that I'm actually <laughs> displaying that correctly I still have yet to uh, really learn a lot about the functions of the marker lamps. This is actually one of the few locomotives at this current time in the game that actually uh, does allow you to set marker lamps, lamps in the front and in the back. Gonna ease her on back. There we go. So uh, we're just gonna take ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Checking the brakes. I'm going to apply a couple to the very back here. That way, these guys do not uh, get moving on their own. Thank you. 
I'm gonna check all the brakes just in case. Making sure that nothing is left on. These cars are quite heavy. Uh, link out while we're here. So we'll just pull the train past the switch here and then uh, I will throw the switch. Then we will just simply uh, walk it back all the way up to the goal chute. Uh, just turn off the power at this point. Got enough momentum here with curve resistance. Apply some brake here. Bro. Stopped a little too quick. You tell it like it is, Olympic. You tell it like it is. So yeah, like I stated earlier, we're just uh, looking to uh, do this coal run. Uh, just simply cycling out product that's been up here for quite a while. So I can eventually uh, make uh, more product runs. I've been meaning to cut those trees actually for quite a while now. Not only that, it's just good to have a money-making run as well. Right up to the coal chute. Probably best to uh, get some brake applied, get her slowing down. These cars are quite heavy. Almost there. Come on, Olympic. All right. I don't think we're still quite lined up. Get pouring.
Very useful trick. <laughs> Not as uh, time consuming. Absolutely need more music. Sorry, that just uh, came up quick. So I guess that would certainly be the uh, one very useful thing about uh, adding uh, music audio in the post editing process because he just won't have gaps like that versus like live recording then again it is fairly early in the morning as it is for me I think there's a slight uphill here So with today being Sunday, as of this recording, um, I will be doing a live stream later tonight. As of this recording. So just in case you didn't, you guys didn't know, if you're not familiar with my channel, I do live streams here on YouTube um, at least most Sundays. I try to guarantee every Sunday, but most Sundays uh, is the best I can do because it's not always possible because, you know, life gets in the way. Nothing you can really do about that, but I do try to stream most Sundays starting at 6 o'clock Pacific time here on YouTube. But additionally, I also stream over on Twitch Wednesdays and Fridays as well starting at the same time, 6 o'clock Pacific time. So I will leave a link in the description below so you can check out that channel as well if you're unable to catch me here on Sunday nights live you can also watch the VODs after the fact just uh, dump it in that coal <laughs> You got it where got what takes. Starting to feel the weight of the load. So I think this will be a uh, slightly longer than usual video because I just wanted to do the uh, long coal run. Just taking this stuff to the freight depot. I think I went through a little too much product there.
Just slowly uh, pulling along there. So, like, when you're doing these recorded videos, you're certainly thinking in the process, you know. Um, I believe the editing actually starts during the recording itself and then the um, post-editing where the real magic happens. Where you make decisions the, about videos uh, that you don't think that you would normally make. Otherwise. So I'm not too sure at this point if I'm going to be editing out this particular part. But that'll be a decision to be made on the editing floor there. As they say in the moving industry. Well, the cutting room floor is what they say. Oop. Accidentally wasted that one. All right, just this last one here. And we'll be underway to the freight depot. So the weight here is 22,046 plus the 13,500 uh, pounds for the cars, I do believe it is. 13,200. So to do some quick math, <laughs> sorry about that. Going to weigh 352,460 pounds. She's going to be a heavy girl here. And that's just 10 cars, 10 loaded cars. But I think Olympic has what it takes. Um, fortunately for us, however, it's downhill and not so much uphill. So it's going to require more tender brake than it is extra motive power, if anything. She's definitely feeling that weight, however. I'm just checking any potential brakes that may be on. I don't see anything. Just absolutely fantastic. So there's going to be a bridge down here at the very bottom of the hill that you guys are going to see that have been significantly redesigned and I can't wait to show it off. Olympics uh, sure having fun with this one. <laughs> Definitely heavy train. And that's only 10 cars. And without a caboose as well. I am actually wondering if I may need to have a, a helper situation here. Because there is one small 2% uh, hill climb here uh, going up to the Fay Depot. I guess we'll deal with that soon enough.
I'll probably at some point actually go and fire it up just in case it is actually needed. It's actually very useful to actually have uh, helpers just in case. So way down there at the bottom of the hill, you can't really see it from here, but uh, there is a newly redesigned bridge you guys will be very soon seeing. Tender break seems to be holding very well. I try not to use uh, too much locomotive brake. So I just set my locomotive to synchronize controls with other engines just in case it is needed. It's always good to be a little prepared. The fact that I'm actually having to turn on the regulator here to keep the train up to pace means that the tender's uh, working a little bit much to <laughs> stop the train. But hey, it's having the intended purpose. Matter of fact, uh, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. I'm just going to turn it off and then I'll just use locomotive brake. So you can actually just see the new bridge up ahead. It's looking fantastic. I really do like the uh, new uh, uh, truss bridge uh, pieces that they added in. It's a very nice touch. Oop, I think I need to straighten out that section of track right there. I think I'm actually going to catch this thing coming across. Actually, let's go through it. It's looking really fantastic. a janky corner there.
Such a scenic way to go, however. I like to add in more dust, uh, excuse me, trust bridges like this, uh, but unfortunately you can only build them on level ground and a lot of this because it is at least two to three percent downhill, um, they can only be built on level, which is very weird in and of itself, you know. Real life bridges are also built at angles as well. That's the way you really can't do that in this game. Also, same is true for the turnouts as well. Hmm, that's looking a little tight right there. Not sure if I may have to fix that or not. Just checking my junctions up ahead of me, see if I need any switches thrown. shut down like it froze oh well don't need it at least I was able to get it back up and running Just uh, chugging along rather nicely here. Um, and then the game froze. So, well, we'll be right back. All right, everybody. I do apologize for that game crashed so I had to restart over but luckily the game automatically saved not far from where the game crashed so yeah uh, I went ahead and took the liberty uh, rebooted the game up got everything back up and running and uh, fired up uh, a locomotive at the helper station just in case it is needed so let's hope that it is not anyway so for those of you guys watching here on YouTube Luckily for you, it is a video. You're just watching a simple edit. Just a turn of the page. So this is a very, very weird crash. But, uh, <laughs> good thing that it wasn't a live stream. So we're just gonna go through Center Valley siding here. High ball, absolutely, because uh, this is uh, pretty much a uh, flat track here. Very easy grade.
Full yeeting speed. Now she's uh, going a bit faster. <laughs> Picked up the pace rather quickly, too. So I'm going to attempt to actually uh, pull this up to 2% grade solo. And if I stall, well, you know, I know where to go. Olympic is absolutely booking it here. It's another uh, bridge I uh, replaced right here. Whoa, what the heck? Like the locomotive got... I, this is unreal, dude. I'm gonna have to look into that uh, when I'm not on a video. So, for you guys, <laughs> I'm going to do a quick little test here. That seemed weird that the locomotive bounced off. All right, everyone. So, after some havoc here, you know, I had a couple of derailments. You know, we bopped the locomotive on the bridge there somehow. Just popped right off there like a cork. So, uh, got the locomotive re-railed back onto the track. Then we ran a couple of test runs on that bridge at full speed didn't seem to have a problem subsequently so we got back going again and uh, somehow randomly just had a car derail us on us uh, mid train so uh, that was fun so hopefully uh, that shenanigans will be over with so let's uh, get back underway shall we get back to the freight depot go ahead and we fire up Olympic here That's enough firewood. Just checking a couple of brakes there. It is just so weird with how you can have a series of derails like that, but hopefully no more shenanigans. Luckily for you guys, this is YouTube and it's a video. You're not having to see it as a live stream. <laughs> Where you get to uh, watch it live as it happens. But hey, it's not railroads online without a little bit of uh, fun and excitement. Absolutely not. Hopefully we've got that out of the way here. I'm going to check some junctions here to make sure that we are all lined up for everything we need to go. Take it easy through this curve here.
So I do have a locomotive on standby in case it is needed. However, however, luckily for me, this is actually a downhill section and an uphill, so I'll run some uh, some downhill speed there towards the end and get a final boost uphill. Seems to be a rather beautiful day after dealing with the uh, mostly s snowy day uh, the other day in Rare Woods Online. Get that speed boost going here. Probably should have gotten a little sooner, but I, th I think we might have enough. Luckily for us, the grade is only 2% here, but it's still uh, challenging enough for a single locomotive train here. It is actually pretty heavy. Come on, Olympic. Can you make it to that uh, shack up there? Unassisted? I think you've got the right stuff, baby. Uh-huh. Yeah, now she's starting to dig in there. Yeah, we're gonna make it. That is so weird how it uh, the game acted like I was attempting to grab the switch stand there and it didn't uh, throw it for some reason. I'll just uh, cross it over there on the other main up ahead. High speed curves, that's for sure. And turnouts. <laughs> the other platform. It's absolutely one of the beautiful parts about this line that it is mostly high speed. Did some good work there, Cook. Did some good work there, Olympic. 
ahead and start slowing down the train here. Certainly would have liked to have pulled into the other side, but I left the train as you can see right there because the other side is a bit longer there But that's okay. We got this Zen in the art of selling coal I think that's actually what I'm gonna title this video as Good. Thought the train was uh, going to actually roll just fast enough for it to start hitting, and then I had initiated that too soon. Making some of that money, however. So that's everything. So we lost five cubes, but I, I think we uh, did all right. So we're just going to take it back to the coal mine here. Just be a quick trip. So I'm definitely wanting to uh, do a, a bridge shot of the uh, train coming back to the coal mine there. I think it would be a worthwhile shot. So I certainly think that uh, we're actually going to uh, probably just edit this part out and uh, just skip to the uh, straight to the bridge shot. So we'll certainly see you guys on the flip side. See you at the bridge, everybody.
All right, everyone, that is actually going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you know when I will post a video in the future. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.